and welcome to your pick a card reading. This is for those of you that have got a question that you would like a yes, no answer to from the tarot. There are three piles. We've got pile one, pile two and pile three. So use your intuition, take a deep breath or maybe you're just straight away attracted to one of the piles. And then in the timestamps, there will be um, the time for number one, number two and number three. That will be in the description box. Scoot straight to the one that you've chosen and watch your video for your question, okay? So the important thing about this, you can ask any question, is to take control of your own reading. I'm gonna be doing a spread for number one, a spread for number two, a spread for number three. I'm gonna use oracle cards, tarot cards. I'm gonna clarify where I need to but you have in mind your own particular question and interpret the information in a responsible way so that you can really get something from this, okay? You can really get the answers that you need or at least you will go away knowing where to look, okay? So without any further ado, choose number one, number two, number three and I will see you on the other side. Namaste. Hi, you chose pile number one, okay. Apologies if you can hear some drilling noises, or it could be sanding noises. There is a man down the road who does nothing but sand his house, or sand something in his house. Okay, that might even be a message for one of you in terms of this question. You know, you might be asking about someone who spends a lot of time doing DIY, I don't know. Okay, now, unlike my normal pick a card readings, I'm doing a, a full spread from scratch for each one of the videos. So I have not pre-selected the cards. That's not the way I wanted to roll with this one. Oof. Okay. Wow. Okay. I can see that some of you um, in this particular one, it's quite direct. Let me just check. Yes. Oof. Let me just finish what I'm doing, because this is a bit important. Wow. <gasps> right. For some of you, this is about a breakup, it's about a relationship, it's about a person that you have not heard from. They've either ghosted you, or you've not heard from them, or, you know, with the times that we're in at the moment, you're in separation from them in some way. I think it's more than that though. I think it is a deliberate um, separation. I think it is a question about communication with this person. It's a question about whether you're going crazy with the thoughts that you have. Um, some of you, because look, I've got the eight of wands in the reverse, okay? So some of you are wondering here, um, about a lack of communication. The Eight of Wands in reverse for me, one, it's Mercury retrograde. Now we had Mercury retrograde in February, I think, was it the 20th? I think it was the 20th of February. Let's have a quick look in the old moon diary, see if we can get our dates right. 17th of February, okay. So if this pertains to a relationship, and I feel like in this case, it could be about jobs, okay? If it's about jobs, it's about having applied for something or had an offer of something and then it's it's vanished, it's disappeared. Because whether it's friendship, relationship or job, okay? And for most of you, this is relationship because it's such a clear message for some of you. Um, this is about a lack of communication. It could be since late February that this has happened and that this has been brewing throughout March, okay? Um, it's a difficult card when you get the Eight of Wands in reverse, but the silence means something. The um, lack of communication is somehow important. And for some of you, you're asking, um, is there a chance with this person again? Should I take a chance on this person again? Um, or this situation again? Ten of Wands in the reverse, or should I cut my losses? Okay, Ten of Wands in reverse is when something has become more difficult to hold on to than it has to let go. Now, 
a lot of you, I'm feeling Cancerian energy, that you are Cancerian yourself or that you've got water in your chart. Um, a lot of you, if you're not a water sign, you're very empathic, you're quite psychic. Um, yeah, I feel a really strong connection to that. And this is a question of whether this whole situation is more damaging to try and salvage than it is to jettison and get rid of, okay? Overall energy card, the Ten of Cups in reverse. So we've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. We've got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Then over here, I've got the King of Wands in reverse. So you may be asking me a question that is about a fire sign. It's Leo Sagittarius Aries. If not, it's about a fire situation. So this is about creativity. If it's about a career, it's about something very attractive, very charismatic that you want to do. Not just the run of the mill, do I take this job? This is a job that would be like, oh, you know, this is a sexy job or a sexy person. But for most of you, this is about a relationship. Do I cut my losses? Do I hold on? Death card in the reverse. A big transformational change with the fool in the reverse. Now, when the fool is in the reverse, there is an energy of... Is it possible to have a new start? The fool is a zero card. Or am I fooling myself? Seven of cups. This is the card of the fantasy future. It's the card of the gaslighter. It's the card of the, oh, all these options, all these options, but are they all in my head? Okay. I'm feeling like, yes, I'm gonna clarify some of these. Wowzers. <laughs> Wowzers. By the way, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I'm doing quite a lot of random readings at the moment, and then you'll get notified. So hit the subscribe wherever it is. Might be there, might be there, might be there. It's not often that I get such a categorical answer, okay? But those of you that watch my daily readings will know that I do not shy away um, when something is a difficult answer. This is a difficult answer for you probably. You're gonna find this challenging, okay? I'm just gonna put that out there. 10 of cups in reverse. So probably about a romantic relationship. The chariot in reverse. Now, the chariot in reverse is the Cancerian card. I'm getting this very strong Cancerian energy, okay? Along with justice in the reverse. This person, I don't know if they're good for you, okay? I don't know if they're good for you. I don't think you think they're good for you. Now, we all have this, especially if we're empathic, the need to... Um, rescue somebody, the need to help somebody, the need and the feel. Some of you really want to reach out to this person. And I think the question that you're asking here, because there's been no communication, is do I reach out to this person? And I have to say no, <laughs> okay? Normally, I could look for different avenues, I could clarify further. I don't actually have to. And as a tarot reader, I feel like you know, it's my service to you to deliver what I'm getting and this is very, very clear. Now, it doesn't mean that this won't change in a couple of weeks' time and in fact, the other message that I'm getting is this situation and the clarity that you're wanting may benefit greatly from you not reaching out, okay? Especially in the past if you've always been the one that did. For some of you, this is a person you've gone back and forth with, okay? Because look, when I clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse, it's the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I mean, come on, you know? If I clarify a Ten and I get a Ten and I've got the Ten of Wands in reverse, 
the Ten of Cups in reverse, and then I get the Ten of Swords. Tara's got a message for us here, and that message is, stop going back to touch that burning stove, okay? Don't play with traffic. This hurt you last time. It will hurt you again if you reach out, okay? The more interesting, well, the not the more interesting part, let's just say it's not a time to move forward with reaching out. Something else that I get though is that if you want to change this dynamic, if you're determined to change this dynamic, you've got to change your own dynamic. And that is absolutely about pulling right back. If you do that, because we've got so many tens and we've got that death card, there may be a difference, there may be a new beginning, there may be a way that you can turn this around. But do you know what I would wager? By the time you reach that point of strength, you might not even want it anymore. Eight of Wands in reverse, we get the Five of Swords, Venus in Aquarius, and for me it's a card of silent control. Somebody is controlling you by silence. And I would wager that this is a person that has never been very straightforward with you or very communicative about where you stood, about where they stood, about the truth of things, okay? Let's have one of these. The way, oh, hello. The way for you to reset this, and I don't think the question of it either should be about whether you can get this person back or whether you should reach out to this person. It's about how do I rescue myself from this, yes situation okay oh my god so yeah my god okay right Jacques Spezzano we get the relationship card of the power struggle you may even not feel like you're in a power struggle but you may have asked yourself the question why do I feel so bad you know why do I feel bad why do I feel unsettled even when you were in communication with this person, I feel like you felt you were always on the begging end of it, which is not a comfortable place to be. We get the unconscious card of the personal myth. It is time, especially while we have a lot of time in our hands, for you to unravel your own personal myth. What is your personal myth? Is your personal myth, I need to work hard for love, or I need to prove my worth to get the career that I want, to do the dream job that I love, okay? What is your personal myth? And I would wager that some of this personal myth has been written by people from your earlier life, okay? What belongs with you and what do you need to get rid of? Because the full card is in the reading. The universe wants you to take a new start, to start again, the zero card, the full. And yet, not in the way that this is, okay? We've got all these tens, we've got the death card in reverse, something needs to drastically change, and it's not the other person or the other scenario. It's taking accountability for your own personal myth, especially if you are a water sign. And from there, it's finding out what ground do you stand on? What do you stand for? What are your values, okay? So then we have the grace card of innocence. And that is the beautiful person that you are. And that is why this person is drawn to you, okay? But don't be giving away. I know that lots of empaths, of course, believe in unconditional love. If you're dealing with a fire sign or an air sign, I think you might need to review that policy. I'm a water sign. I know what we're like, all right? So, you know, from one to another, and it's giving me an itchy nose, so it's definitely true. You might need to review that policy, okay? And then once you've done that, once you've got back to formulating currently your own strong identity, you may be able, well, the only way that this could ever happen is if this person reached out to you. So the, the question is, do you reach out to this person? The answer is no, okay? That is an interesting reading. Leave me a comment. Do check out your monthly readings, your daily readings. They're all in the description box below. And thank you very much, number one. Good luck with this. It's an absolute life changer for you. It may not feel like it at the moment, but it is. I'll see you soon. Namaste. Hi, number two. Welcome to your reading. Right. Number two. What do we need to know? Now, for each of these... 
I am doing a full kind of reading. So instead of having selected the cards earlier on, I'm doing it from scratch and then taking the clarifiers, etc., that we need. This is interesting. Wow! It's funny actually, you might have been attracted to number one as well mm. because um, there was a Cancerian energy in number one that I couldn't quite work out and it's come back again in this one. So you might find um, that you have done this twice or that you've listened to number one and number two. Either way, okay. It's interesting because you have the world in reverse so this is about a karmic kind of question and karmic is a word that gets thrown around and I'm using it in the very widest sense okay so let's just say that the world card is the last card in the major arcana when you get it in the reverse you're drawn to asking a question about finishing a particular cycle some of you are asking a question about, it's about the kind of lifespan of something. Whether this is something to invest in, I think, is the question. It's very interesting. Overall energy card, I get the chariot in reverse. That did come up in number ones and I've done an enormous shuffle on these cards. I did what I call a big girl messy shuffle. I, you know, I've done them all over the table and upside down the right way up and thing and back together and squoosh and all that stuff. So you might be <coughs> a Cancerian or the energy again. And I mean, this can be about, it, it's either going to be about a partnership in terms of romantic partnership if it is, then it's not just a fling. This is about a proper, proper love situation, okay? Proper jobs here. You know, is this someone I can be with for the rest of my life type question? It's not, you know, um, I've been on a date with somebody like one time or something. Will they call me? Will they text me? It's not as small as that. It's a much, you know, we're talking what I call on my channel spiritual big jobs okay this is a spiritual big job if it's about work it could be about starting a whole new venture of something that you love probably um you're doing something that you don't love as much at the moment this is about taking chances taking risks and whether to put yourself out there for something because Something's coming to an end with that, but I like the feeling of how it's coming to an end. I don't get a bad feeling about that. I get a good feeling about that. The answer, I think, is yes to this one. And let's look at why. I'm going to do some clarifying, okay? Look, you got the full card in the upright. Now, number one got the full card as well in the reverse. Um, this could be stage two. We talked about in number one what could happen if you didn't respond or reach out or initiate. This is, you know, the fruits of your labour. This is a yes to, is this a long term, could this be a long term investment for me? The Fool sets out as a zero card to take the journey of something new. And of course, it after the world card starts again with the fool. That's how the major arcana goes. It's a cycle. That's why I'm talking about whatever has happened so far. There is an opportunity with the question that you're asking to make a new start, to have a new beginning, or certainly to take a risk on the potential of something. The fool goes off with the white rose of innocence. And, you know, he's a youth. The fool is always a youth. It's not like the hermit, who's usually an old man. The fool is the youth who's like, yeah, you know, I'm going. I got my knapsack. I'm going off the edge of a cliff. And the dog's like, no. And the fool's, yeah, I'll get caught. It'll all be good. 
This is the kind of energy that's coming to you with the answer to your question. Fortune favours the brave, number two for you. Fortune favours the brave. Then we have the two of cups, Venus and Cancer. Not too shabby, okay? Proper either a partnership in work, so it can be joining together with somebody or a company or a person to do something that actually is very heartfelt for you as opposed to just a way of making money. This is something that comes from the heart. But also Two of Cups is love, soulmate love, you know, proper, proper love. I'm getting proper love for this particular reading. I'm getting the Page of Cups in reverse. That's interesting. Page of Cups, of course, is like the initial um, overtures. Something like that may be missing from this scenario at the moment because we've got this Cancerian card in reverse. The chariot, when it's in reverse, means you might have been feeling a little bit wild about this. You might have been feeling a little bit out of control, a little bit, um, you know, some days you, you feel okay and you feel rational and other days you're just like, oh, I'm absolutely crazy. Some of you are crazy about this person. You're crazy in love with this person, okay? Four of Cups in reverse, emotional release. Again, I think the biggest message from this, you know, and obviously you're personally accountable for how you act on this. You are the agent of your own destiny. But fortune does favour the brave with this. There is an element of feeling the feelings and expressing the feelings in some cases, maybe not to the person or to the employer or whatever it is, but being in that full energy, being that kind of lit up, I'm feeling, I'm feeling optimistic, I'm not afraid to dream, this could be the one, yes, it could be the one, yes, yes, yes. This is the energy of a yes, you know, I'm imagining you on a mountain, yes, like this, page of wands, that is a yes page, it's like, you know, let's do it. There may be a need for some adventure with this. There may be a need for something to do with foreign travel or changing your routine or breaking out of your comfort zone. All that is kind of on the periphery of the reading. Two of Wands. And this is the card I get when someone is prospecting. It's the card of looking out over the horizon, literally to a foreign land sometimes. Do I need to um, go further afield? If I'm single, do I need to expand my idea of the ideal person or how I could meet them or, you know, could I do long distance or whatever it is? If you are in a long distance as well, this could be considering whether you can join up with that person. If this is about career, it's considering whether you can migrate from something that you don't love to something that you do and take the necessary risks you know, obviously they're your risk to take, but fortune favours the brave. And then you have the star. I mean, that's gorgeous energy, beautiful energy. One of my favourite tarot cards. You've got the luck with you, okay? You've got the luck with you. I like this. Oh, hello. I like this. Oh, God. Chuck Spezzano cards are having a field day, right? I just got a message, this is all about finding the lion within. Woof! This is about casting off your ancestral baggage as well. We've got the unconscious ancestral problem and here is your ancestors loading baggage onto something. For some of you, it's shyness. For others of you, it's a lack of self-worth. Um, for some of you, it's not believing in yourself. That's all, that's the only kind of missing link here. We've got the hidden self, the victim card. For some of you, it's what's happened to you in the past, which is making you less optimistic about something about love, whether it's love for a career, whether you deserve to actually have what you deserve and love. Yes, you do. The relationship card of neediness. Some of you are afraid to appear needy. Okay, you're afraid, afraid that you will appear desperate. Yes. Some of you have given up hope on a relationship. Some of you were struggling 
with somebody. Yeah. Yes. For the full card, I get the five of wands in reverse. You, this is you fighting with yourself. It's self-talk, okay? The answer is yes, number two, okay? Straight out, the answer is yes. But you might need to think of the yes as a big golden sun that you need to turn your face to, okay? Believe you are lucky. Work on your self-talk because there's something about your ancestral line that tells you you should always be alone and that you shouldn't be able to... I can hear for some of you, it's parents, like you shouldn't faff about with being an artist or whatever it is, you know? Why would I be able to? Yeah, you can. This is the yes. This is the yes pile. Yes, you can. Ten of Wands for the Two of Cups. Some of you have given up on love. Do not give up on love, okay? This is a reading that says if you're single, yes, it's out there for you. You may need to push your boundaries. If you're involved with someone, yes, it could be the one, okay? You, you will need to push your boundaries. If it's about career and you want to do something that seems ridiculous, but you really love it, yes, but push your boundaries. For the star, we get the five of pentacles. For some of you, this may involve certain sacrifices in terms of staying away from negative people. You know, the five of pentacles is where you deliberately separate yourself from something for the sake of a spiritual journey. OK, so you may have to stay away from negativity and the naysayers because you can generate enough negativity on your own. You don't need any help from them. OK, stick around positive people. Be a positive person. Greet this experience with a yes. That's what Tara Brock says. OK, number two, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I'm bringing out quite a lot of random readings. Check out your monthly reading for your star sign, your daily reading. I've got pick a card readings. They are all in the description box. But, you know, grab that yes and run with it, number two. Congratulations. Namaste. Hello, number three. Okay, so I've said this to number one and number two, but it's worth mentioning again. Um, I'm doing like a complete fresh reading for each video. So with clarifiers and tarot cards and whatnot okay so it's a complete reading for your question what does number three need to know that one for a start woof number three that's weird yeah actually so number three you've got a lot of confusion i could feel like a, a whole swirly maelstrom of confusion around this question yes Whoa. Okay. Ooh. Number three. Oh my God, that's... I don't know what's going on. That chariot card has come up with all of them. So if you're a Cancerian, you might have listened to number one, number two and number three. Okay. This is an interesting reading. So, the other two, number one and number two, I got definitive answers. Yours is not as straightforward as all that and it runs very deep. It runs very, very deep. You're asking a question about something incredibly important to you. I've got the nine of cups in reverse in the middle. Just for one or two of you, this is a question about maybe having children with somebody or about motherhood issues with somebody. Because we've got a Cancerian card, I've got the Empress in the reverse over here. But also it can mean anything that you would birth, any ideas, any... Um... For some of you, this is about hope. Is there hope for something? 
listen, and it's very, very close to your heart emotionally. Um, you've absolutely been through the emotional ringer with this one, no question. You were in a situation where, you know, if there is such a thing as luck, I mean, who knows, you know, is was it bad luck? Was it, you're asking yourself, was it bad luck? Can it be salvaged? I've got the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, along with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Something really hit a roadblock. And you may have wondered how, how on earth it turned out that way. The way this is going for you, number three, is that whatever drama, and there's been a lot of drama here, has happened on stage or in the sort of 3D world, um, whether it's to do with calling, texting, talking, relationships, whatever it is, the answer to your question does not lie in the 3D world. I'm not telling you to ignore the evidence that's in front of you because you can't ignore the evidence that's in front of you. And just for a few of you, there is a third party situation involved in this, whether it's to do with work or whether it's to do with romance. There is triangulation. I got the three of swords in reverse interesting card something has cut you very deep here this is an emotional experience that you've had that has gone right to the core of who you are now there is an enormous amount of learning to be done in this experience but you know isn't that always the last thing you want to hear it's like this is a real growth lesson for you and you're like so what I know Underneath that, so what, it is an enormous growth lesson for you. But yeah, you have every right to be angry with what happened because something happened to you. And just for one or two of you, there may have been something, I don't understand, to do with surgery or to do with, um, and this is in the past, it's not something to happen, it's something that did happen. Um, and that's particularly for females, okay? Some kind of female surgery. And this is about asking whether you can ever have your true desire. Okay, can you have your true desire? Some of you, this has been so painful that you have moved into an emotional neutral, okay? You've had to shift gears into nothingness. Some of you have numbed out because you needed to. Some of you, this a person in a relationship has so done a number on you here, okay? And you're asking if they're gonna come back. Judgment in the reverse. Let's clarify. Now, at the top of the reading, I've got this high priestess and she's so freaking powerful in this reading. And along with her, the Queen of Swords, who is also incredibly powerful in this reading. Then next to that, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Something did not take hold. A seed did not grow. Something you planted died. I mean, it's like... Someone destroyed it though. Someone destroyed it. Okay, let's do some, because this is a many layered reading. This is not straightforward. The first thing I'll say as well, well, I've said lots of things, but something I will say to you, number three, is be kind to yourself about this. Get whatever help you need with this, because this is a deep psychic, emotional hit for you. It goes to the heart of who you really are and the true essence of you. Now, the way that you navigate your way out of this situation is in the same way. Yep. For some of you, this is uh, a breakup, a loss of some kind of security. Oh my God, yeah.
Right, this is really important, this reading. I can't tell you enough. Okay. Whoa. Absolute chills going down. Oh, God. Look, I'm clarifying what's going on. And do you know what I get when I clarify? I get the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. Now, listen. Tens are about completion. But it's not just, oh, it's about completion. You're going through a cycle and then you move to another cycle. This is maybe, this is an awakening. No question. This is your awakening. Robert Frost said, the only way is through. Okay, for you, the only way is through. Some of you are asking a question if this person could come back. If there's been third party, if there's been betrayal, because I'm picking up on some betrayal. Do you know what? This is what it is. Yes, they will come back. By gum, I don't know if you want them. If I'm going to be so honest with you about this, and I am, um, those of you that watch my dailies will know that I am. Yeah, they will come back. They will. Even if they've gone off with someone else, and even if they've gone off with someone else, that person has a child with them, because some of these people are married, or there's children, or some kind of separation or divorce, or something like that. And for some of you, this could even be about family or parents, you know. There's a perpetrator in this. There is a person who has wreaked havoc in your life, it could have happened in the past, it could have been a long time ago. But your question is, and it, you wish it wasn't, I think, for some of you, will they, will they return? Yes. Um, but you really need to work on why you want them to, and also what you will do when they do, because the Queen of Swords is quite straightforward. She doesn't take any, you know, she's like, Ksh! And the High Priestess is about getting in touch with feminine magic, which when you get this Empress in the reverse, and I want a card for the Empress in the reverse. This is interesting. By the way, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure that the Wiggly Bell is activated. It's that one. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. Someone didn't work with you on something, you know? And I don't mean that in the, um, someone was, you know when you think it's you and me against the world and then it isn't, it's that. It's not like they didn't work with you, you know, splitting the bill. They weren't there for you. Oh, I like this. No, not that one. This is a really deep reading. It almost can't be contained in one reading yet. Yes, absolutely. Okay. For some of you, this has to do with a physical relationship you had with somebody which had a, um, toxic elements to it. However that pertains to you, you'll know if that's you, okay? Seven of Swords in the reverse. There was a transgression. Someone, ha someone has, you know, betrayed you in this. Have they betrayed you? Yes. Will they return? Yes. Okay. But it's like coming back to the scene of a crime is what I get. Four of Cups in reverse. You need to find a way before that happens of releasing this toxicity, this anger, this kind of psychic hit that's been taken on you. And I feel like these two cards really do go together. You do the deep work so that you can wield the sword. And I don't mean literally wield the sword at all. I mean that you can not take any nonsense. No nonsense, please. 
four of pentacles in reverse you may have found that you've been um had trouble with throat chakra or digestion or some area of your body has been physically affected by this again i keep getting that for you this is something where you've been in in it's like a, tra a trap of some kind and it's time to release but be kind to yourself because it will not be you know oh well i'll just do five minutes you know it's deep deep work for those of the females that are watching it's goddess work it's feminine work it's body work whichever way you want to do it because it's a very individual thing it's quantum healing for some it's definitely putting yourself back together but you won't be the same again because it's an awakening so you will be uh different i mean it's good but it's i can see it's difficult okay so it's almost a yes and a no, isn't it? But it's a yes as in, if you're asking me this question, will this person return? Do I need to protect myself against that is a yes as well, okay? I've got the Ace of Wands in the reverse and that is a card of sexuality and creativity. One or two of you may have been involved with somebody who was psychic themselves or physical yoga, dancing, they did something that meant that they could connect to you on a 5d level but then they didn't respect that connection okay then we get the two of pentacles and the six of pentacles which is rather nice this is about learning what you deserve to receive and there is some kind of adjustment you're making adjustments you may be making physical adjustments which is you know whatever you need to seek or mental adjustments, psychic adjustments. Those adjustments will pay off for you massively, number three, okay? They will, but be kind to yourself. We have up here for the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, which is thinking, why did this happen? We got the Knight of Wands, okay? I like the energy of the Knight of Wands because it's something coming in for you that sort of burns away this negativity but I'm not sure you're going to recognise that straight away. Feels really... Let's have a look at Chuck Spetsana. I just want to do a couple of these. Yeah. We get the unconscious card of valuelessness. Someone did not value you. Now you need to value yourself, but you will. Yes, my God. The unconscious of the shadow side. You encountered someone's shadow side here. Can you move on from it? Yes. Oh my God, that's so nice. Yes, you absolutely. And yes, you can find love again is another thing. You get the grace card of joy. This really is a question of the darkest hour is before the dawn. I don't normally say that. Um, you are working with your shadow. Shadow work would be good. Have a look at on the internet, see if you can find anything for that. Um, do shadow work that is kind to you though and make sure it's people you can trust. This is an awakening for you, yes. If it's a simple, um, will they return, yes. Um, you need to make your own mind up about whether you need to protect yourself against that or whether there's a way forward. I think it's, this is a difficult reading, okay? There is some difficulties here. But once you have your awakening, you'll be in a very different place about it anyway, as you will about everything else. Ooh, leave me a comment, okay? Do like, share and subscribe. And yeah, I will see you soon. Namaste.